Hi everybody, this is Jay from RFTextVCS.com showing you how to optimize the settings on your Roku 2 XS. Alright, as you can see here, I have the Roku 2 XS player settings tab selected in front of me. And this is the tab that we're going to go to when we're looking to configure and customize our Roku 2 XS device. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK on the remote. And as you can see, we have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 11 options here, one of which I will not choose. Uh, so let's kind of go over these a little bit and explain and see what they're about. Okay, the first selection we have is the About tab. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show this. Reason being is because this is where all of your license and personal information and personal details are going to be. Okay, so just know if you ever want to know exactly what your Roku 2 XS device is linked to, this is the tab that shows it. Okay, next we have the network tab. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it shows our basic connection status, whether it's wireless or whether it's wired. Now, as you can see, I have my connection set to wired, which is Ethernet, uh, basically because for me, wired and Ethernet is faster than wireless, and I want my data to, to stream as fast as possible. The next thing we have is the display type. Here we can see that there's four three standard, 16.9 widescreen, 720p HD TV, and 1080p HD TV. Okay. Now, again, for obvious reasons, I have mine set to 1080p HD TV because I want the highest possible quality. Uh, there have been a lot of complaints that I saw on Amazon and uh, on you know YouTube, and people said that they weren't seeing the kinds of of quality in the, the in the the device as advertised. The reason for that is is because by default the Roku 2 XS is set up for 720p HD TV and as I said in my previous videos you have to make sure that you read the user manual because it explains this to you okay so you know people they don't read the manual they don't know that it's set to 720p they get it they fire it up and then they're complaining on Amazon about why the quality isn't really 1080p okay so you just go to the screen select 1080p and then you're all set. Okay. Next, we have the audio mode. We have two options: stereo and 5.1 surround. I have stereo because in the location that I'm at, I've only got the TV station hooked up, or the TV rather. Sorry. Uh, but if you have a surround sound system, the options here. Next, we have the sound effects volume, and we have high, medium, low, and off. I've got mine set to medium because I really don't need the sound effects to just you know be blaringly loud. Next, we have the language setting. Uh, again, this is an obvious setting. You have the options between English and French. Uh, I've read that you can actually add more options, but you have to go to the website in order to get them. Uh, my French is very, very bad, so there's no way that I would actually change the settings from English to French. Next, we have game remote pairing. Now, I went over this in my uh, first video, or second video, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, on how to pair the Roku 2 remote with your Roku player. This pretty much tells you how to do it. However, there's a good chance if you're seeing this screen, you've already paired your remote anyway. So I find it was a little bit redundant, but it's still good to know. Next, we have the screensaver. This is where you can, you know, decide on the screensaver. It's loading them right now. Uh, but this is where you can decide on the screensaver and what you want your Roku device to do when the device is idle. Okay. Uh, there's a channel that's separate I'll show in a different video where there's full of screensavers that you can select and you can use for your Roku device. Uh, I've even heard that there's an app that's available where you can set your own custom Roku screensavers. Okay, so we have here the time zone and the clock and this just goes over your current location or the, your location relevant to where the Roku device is plugged in. Okay, mine is set to Eastern. 12-hour uh, format and the time is 328. Okay, next is third-party licenses. There's not really much to see here. It just goes over the user agreement, uh, and this, from what I've been told and from what I've read, pretty much just pertains to the different channels and whatnot that you've got the Roku 2 device hooked into. Uh, when you begin, uh, you know, it's basically the the acceptance or the, you know, like I said, the user agreement of when you you download the third-party apps and the third-party channels that aren't provided uh, initially by Roku. Okay, let's see, we gotta go back, press the back button by mistake. Okay, we are next at software update. Now, I keep my Roku device updated 
constantly so I don't need to do it however if you do need to update your software this is the tab that you go to to do it at uh, again a lot of people made complaints about the Roku device they said that it, it reset on them all the time they said that you know the games wouldn't play properly you know all kinds of complaints but you've got to keep in mind that the Roku 2XS has been out for a little while and their firmware upgrades that are released rather frequently and to get the most value out of the device you've got to stay updated with the software it's really easy to do you just navigate to the screen go to software update then you're good to go okay finally our last setting is factory reset now with factory reset I believe this is pretty much self-explanatory you press this button and it resets your player back to the settings that it had when you first bought it now this is a button that I'm not going to push for testing purposes for you guys because I don't want to lose the settings that I've got hooked up okay so for more information please visit our website rftextvcs.com you can see miles on the screen in the lower right hand corner and if you're already on our site just continue reading and I hope you enjoy the review take care